We're into the winter break right now and as usual it's all hands on deck for me and Alan. We don't stop, the boys are away for a break but the groundsmen doing what groundsmen do, it never stops for us. We're going into a, a mini renovation period. Uh, I think we'd brought eight out. Yeah. Still eight, still, still eight sitting in there. The plan is to clean up from the last game and get in and be a bit more aggressive, just try and scrape away some of the, the dead organic build-up and try and almost groom the pitch. It'll give us space to, to overseed the pitch. Put a top dressing of sand over as well. We'll probably put the undersoil heating on to aid with that, a bit of soil temperature. We then put our products on, put a bit of air into the pitch by spiking it, and then generally just put it to bed by germination covers. We'll create that humidity to hopefully get the seed to germinate. That's the plan, whether, it, whether we get that plan and we, and we can fulfil that plan uh, in the west of Scotland is a very different matter. We had a, a wee referee's inspection on, on um, I think it was St Myrne, and then I think a few days later we had Rangers in very similar conditions, and then more recently Dundee United at home, which was, which was horrendous. The break's really crucial for us, came at a really good time. Normally when you get three games in those conditions and get played in, really that's the, the downward spiral for your pitch. But we've actually come out of it quite well, I can't lie. You have to put your hand up and say, Do you know, we've been lucky. We're lucky with the weather and lucky with it, with the fixtures and the, and, and how, and the proximity of them. Bloody grass is soaking. We're probably into now about the second month where we, we get very little recovery or no growth at all. The plant almost goes into dormancy for a few months. Uh, until it starts to peak its head up, hopefully maybe near the end of February if we're lucky in this country, but I've seen it as late as maybe getting into April. We're more maintaining the, the plant coverage that's in there already. We're, we're damp, we're wet, the light levels are down. You know, once we get into the 22nd of January, which is our next game, we'll be the best part of three months with no growth. So every game that gets played is damaged, it doesn't recover. So it is really crucial that we ensure that the plant's really strong, that can take the play. Then it comes down to resource levels, you know, and, and we're counterparts down south, you know, are setting the standard for everybody. We can't quite get that up in Scotland, you know, and it is a money thing, but also sometimes it's, it's an attitude thing. We quite haven't grasped the attitude of, of what they're doing down south in terms of the visual aspect of the games. I'm not trying to criticise anything in Scotland because, we, you know, we have a tough gig in terms of the money that we get into our football and our weather and our situation. But I think the one thing that we can change is the actual attitude to, to the surfaces that we play on. Support is absolutely paramount. And I say that because I am a lucky individual at a club like Motherwell where I am supported fantastically well. Not, not only from guys like Alan Burroughs, but I'm supported fantastically from the people that work at Motherwell who understand my own passion about the pitch. So what I mean by that is people understand that the pitch is not there as a path to cut across to, to get to the shortest point that they need to go to. There's a great respect that I have from all the staff at Motherwell in regards to the pitch. And I know possibly some of my, my colleagues don't have that at other clubs. I'm very lucky I have that here. Just go and get petrol for it. We've had a real change in the thought process about our equipment. We are really going down the battery operated route to reduce pollution, costs of fuel, noise pollution. You know, it allows us to do certain things in the morning where we previously couldn't do because we have houses nearby. And, and I think just the general welfare of the groundsman. It's a physical job, as everybody knows, with the lack of hand and vibration of these machines and the quietness of them and, and just the, the smoothness of them to operate. I, I think. That's the way forward for us. I, I don't think it's ever easier for groundsmen, I have to say. The games still get played and they'll come thick and fast as we generally come out of the winter break. The fixtures get condensed a wee bit. So once again, it's luck of the weather. Um, and the prep work that we do now will hopefully see us through to the end of the season. <laughs> 